reported shooting. Hey, yeah, Mark, we, uh, shortly, uh, right around 5 o'clock, uh, Civic Center Park went from a place where thousands of people were gathered to, uh, to have a good time, to, uh, to enjoy 420. It is now wrapped in crime tape. Uh, police officers are all over the area. Witnesses are telling me uh, right around 5 o'clock, four to five shots rang out. Uh, at least one person was hit from what they told me from people who were right in the area. It looked like a woman uh, might have been hit in the ankle. Uh, we are seeing a lot, of, uh, a lot of police activity. We've seen ambulances rushing around. Uh, not sure of the woman's condition, but again, witnesses telling me at least one person was hit, possibly in the ankle. Uh, police are, are swarming this area. People who are here to celebrate 420, they have been pushed out. Again, Civic Center Park is wrapped in crime tape. I'm told this happened right around the amphitheater section, right towards the stage. And, uh, and so that is the, the concentration of police officers right now. Uh, again, if you are in this area, stay out of the area. A lot of people are really disappointed that this happened because of the, uh, the progress that uh, they think that the marijuana has made through Amendment 64, that they think that this is going to be tarnished with what has happened here. Again, uh, r shots fired at Civic Center Park following the 420 rally in uh, Civic Center Park right by the amphitheater. We'll continue to follow this, uh, bring you more details. We've been speaking with witnesses, and we'll bring that to you as soon as we get it. Mark, Cheryl. Todd, actually, I'm relieved to hear your voice. We've been concerned about you. I mean, it's just you just we don't know where in the park this is happening, and we're watching Sky 9 video as we're talking to you, and you just see people running in every direction. So certainly, it's got to be scary at that point. Do you know if there's anybody in custody? Is there any any word on who they might be looking for or that part of the investigation? It may be way too early for that, but we did want to ask. That, that I don't know if they have anyone in custody yet. We are seeing people who are, again, they are making their way out of Civic Center Park right now. Uh, everyone basically scattering in every direction because it was a crowded, crowded area uh, when these shots went off. Sir, did you say that you were in, right there when it happened? Yeah, so, yeah. Okay, can you tell me what you saw, what you heard? Actually, I just was, uh, there was a concert, obviously, and the music was just playing, and all I felt was just like a big thrust of people coming behind me, and they knocked me forward, and there was two sets of barricades between the crowd and the on stage, and um, so I obviously knocked the first set over, and then my leg um, got jammed up a little bit, and then I'm thankful to God to be alive, because you know, that many people are running to uh, get out of some area and then ducking, and I mean, that's how people get trampled, you know? Um, I like to show my fellow Americans that why does every kind of a, a event have to end in some kind of tragedy with somebody getting hurt like this, you know, the Boston Marathon, and now this? I mean, it's just, to me, it's overwhelming to think that if they say, um, they, they could translate this around the world to anybody and to all of our fellow men. Um, if there's one that God, I worship myself that He would come back and take over the rest of the earth. Because there's always evil, and you know, there's why is it always evil? You know, there's, mm -hmm. there's, there's something in tragedy in every kind of event. And why? Well, you said that you were right near the stage. Where, where, where were you? Where were the shots fired? I didn't even hear the shots. Actually, I just felt the thrust of people coming behind me because mm -hmm. I was so close to the speaker. So I was probably, didn't, I, I, you know, it was further back um, in the crowd. So. All I, like I said, all I felt was a thrust, and my goodness, that was unbelievable. But a lot of people were in the area where you were. Very sure, yes. Yeah. So, okay, like I said, my friend, I'm, we're hanging out, and uh, I don't even know where she's at. Okay. All right, so we're glad to hear that you are okay. Thank you so much. Uh, Mark and Cheryl, obviously a lot of people who are panicked in this area. Uh, thousands of people, as we mentioned, possibly tens of thousands were in the area when these shots were fired. Uh, uh, witnesses are telling me four to five shots were fired in this area, so a lot of people were around uh, uh, when this happened. We, if there was only one person is hit, that was that would be very fortunate uh, as far as this event goes, because of how many people were in that area. We are uh, we're continuing, as we said, to follow uh, to to follow this. We don't know if anyone's in custody yet, but a lot of people, a lot of police officers, have swarmed this scene again. Civic Center Park now wrapped in crime tape, where it was a festival before. All right, Todd Walker reporting live uh, from Civic Center Park where there was a, a shooting this afternoon, as you can see from our Skyline video. And that is videotape, by the way, not a live picture. People scattering in every direction as that happened. And in fact, uh, towards the top of our broadcast today, we did a story that Denver police were saying uh, that they were less concerned about people smoking, smoking marijuana at the rally and more concerned about security today, mm -hmm. given the events of the past week. Certainly, it's such a tragic week on so many fronts in so many parts of our country. So people sort of have a high level of anxiety anyway. So Todd Walker's busy gathering that information. We will keep updating the story for you on the networks of Nine News. Again, witnesses telling him one person hurt. We'll wait to get confirmation from the Denver police.